Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to take one finger at the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a little curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, little curved line down on the right. I'm going to go back to the left and connect the two. On the left hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line, curved line down. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line, curved line down. At the bottom, I am going to draw a skinny rectangle. I come back to the left and I draw another slightly curved line down on the left, come on the right, slightly curved line down on the right. Oops, I mean on the left. Oops, I mean on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw another skinny rectangle. I come back on the left I draw a slightly curved line down, straight line over. On the right hand side, I draw a slightly straight line down, curved line, straight line in on the right. Come back to the left and draw a big curved line over, connect. We're going to mimic that line again. Draw another big curved line over, connect. I come to the middle section and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And I'm going to mimic, draw it again, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to draw what we call horizon line so it doesn't look like my Eiffel Tower is floating in outer space. So I draw straight lines, jump over, straight lines to the end of the paper. Inside each of my little skinny rectangles, I'm going to draw some boxes or little baby squares all the way across. And on this skinny rectangle, I'm going to do the same thing. Little boxes or squares all the way across. Now, the whole entire Eiffel Tower is made out of steel and it's all going to be drawn with straight diagonal lines going in one direction. And you'll see that once I get to a certain point, I'm going to change the direction so that it fits all the way down. Come up to the second layer, straight diagonals, even on these little top guys, all the way down and around. And now on the big tower part, straight diagonals up. And once you get up to the little top part, you start the opposite way. You're going to cross each one of those diagonals. Sometimes it works out great and you don't have too many problems. Other times you have to kind of think about where you're going, like on the middle one because it's kind of little. You want those lines to look like they are crossing because that's the thing about the Eiffel Tower, it's lattice work. Same thing down here at the bottom. You want to cross. Make your lines all the way across. Now I'm switching directions to fill this section in. Okay, let's see how we would color this in. Okay, because the detailing of the whole entire tower is so intense, I'm just going to do a loop-de-loop -loop blue background to give it some texture and a little bit of color. And I'm using blue because that is one of the colors of the French flag. Don't forget the insides of your arches. But down here at the bottom, going the opposite, I'm going to draw straight lines of red because that also is part of the French flag. All the way across. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's the Eiffel Tower all colored in. 
it's really interesting to note that they have their own monument in their country and they sent us the Statue of Liberty which is a very famous monument in our country. Okay, bye bye.